So if you find yourself at odds with someone in this steady tension, listen up. There are three things that you need to do. Number one, look inside yourself. Use the prompt, if I tell myself the truth, and then you ask these two questions. How might I be participating in this tension? Asking how might I be participating allows whatever unconscious narrowing of focus that has taken place in you to soften so that the aperture can widen and you can see more of the picture. If we are only seeing how we feel, only seeing what someone else has done to us, only seeing the energy of wrong, then assume you are in the surviving self and the surviving self's characteristics, its modus operandi, is to narrow its focus and run. Narrow its focus and be ready for war. So, if I tell myself the truth, will help you widen that aperture and be interested, allow you to be interested in seeing more. Number two is ask yourself how often this tension that you are experiencing is a part of your historical experience. To take a moment and check in with that question allows you to possibly catch sight of how there is an energetic pattern that you haven't yet seen. If that feeling of tightness in your chest, if that unconscious feeling of being attacked or feeling like you have to defend yourself is present. A fantastic question to ask yourself is, and when is the last time I felt that way? And when is the time before that that I felt that way? Asking that question and following it into your past will reveal whether or not this moment is unique in and of itself, or if it has triggered a historical pattern that you operate from. And last, check inside and see how open and willing you are to be a part of the solution. We can talk all day long we can say, I'm willing. We can say, I'm open. We can say, you know, I am welcoming of. But our energy paints a different story. If we tell ourselves the truth and we look inside in those three ways and we find ourselves in a fair, and objective place. Now you are prepared to be able to stand in front of whomever you need to and address the issue, address the tension. And when it comes to addressing the tension or the issue, it's the conversation that is going to do the work. If we step into that communication, wanting our side to be understood, wanting and expecting people to agree, then we have not created the environment necessary for communication or safety. Because every single human being wants to be heard. So the second thing is, if you find yourself in that tension and you have checked the three ways that we've talked about, now you can speak to what is your experience. I am feeling 
like there is some sort of hostility here. I'm feeling like there's distrust. I'm feeling like <laughs> I don't belong. I'm feeling like, and you can just tell the truth that is yours. And here's the beauty. When we do this work, we're not doing it for the other people. We're not doing it because we want to be included. We're not doing it for any reason other than this. It is our work to do. It is the only way that we are going to expand into that next best iteration of ourselves. And the people that we have to have these kinds of conversations with, they will hone us. They will refine us. And if they are people who are meant to be in our lives, then as that next best iteration of ourselves emerges and unfolds, then guess what? That person might very well be standing right next to you. And if they are not, well, we just say thank you for their participation in our becoming more of who we are. All right, I'm loving you. Our inner fitness community, I invite you to stay, join, and learn to turn wellness concepts into action. Living life well takes practice, y'all. So simply click the subscribe button to practice together, grow this conversation, and change the world. I can't wait to read your comments and hear how your life changes for the better. Thank you for subscribing. Let's thrive.